All right, guys, I wanted to go through this. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. This is the One Swell Studio Christmas Planner. And I will put a link to my Ebates link. Every time I use it, I get cash back, especially with Etsy. So it's from oneswellstudio.etsy.com. And this is my first time using a Christmas planner like this. I thought I would give it a go. I do love my Louis Vuitton planner that I'm using right now but I thought this might help with just the Christmas planning. And don't mind me, I just got a paper cut, so that's why I've got some polka dots over here. So you open it up, and I just wanna talk about the cover. It's like a matte cover, almost has like, I don't know, it's got some texture to it, and almost feels like velvet, if I can say that about the paper. It almost feels like if you drop water on it, it's gonna be water resistant, and then this side is just shiny. It's a little bit different of a uh, texture. I'm not sure what it's called. So this keepsake Christmas planner belongs to, and you can put your name. I'm really looking forward to using this, so I wanted to film this right away to get this to you guys so I can start writing in it. But it's got like a little introductory letter from her of how it started and how she made this. One year she was just feeling overwhelmed with Christmas time and trying to get everything done, and then a Christmas planner, she made a binder. I actually did that a few years ago. I never thought of making my own planner to sell, but what a great idea. I did the same thing, made a binder and Christmas card list and everything because I couldn't find a planner that worked for me, but I'm hoping this might be it. So here's how you use it. Um, there's actually like a daily, daily planner in each one. And so you've got a list, notes of what they did maybe that day, a memory from the day, and something I'm thankful for. So like a grande peppermint mocha from Starbucks, yum. Pretty cute. So it's all by Kara, this is her company. So you've got a month at a glance, which is awesome for me. So I can see all of the different parties at my kids' schools, church events, Christmas musicals we want to attend, all the different fun festivities. When do we want to bake cookies and look for those quiet nights that we're going to be home and how to plan different Christmas movies so we don't miss out on some of our holiday traditions too. So I love this. No idea what I'm going to use for the note section yet. But then here we go. So these are all the same for the whole month. So this could be a keepsake to look back on, but then just the list for that day could be very helpful. So I'm just going to go through... And I love that it goes through past the 25th because there could be holiday get-togethers and different things that we're doing after the holidays. So it goes all the way to the 31st. Then you have jingle jingle budgeting for the holidays. So kind of estimated cost and then your actual cost for decorations, food and baking, uh, cards and postage, events and parties, travel expenses, gift purchases, paper and wrapping. Um, and this may be helpful for me and may not because I buy a lot of our stuff like a year ahead of time when it's on sale so we'll see we'll see if i use this christmas card addresses now i have an erin condren address book but what this could be helpful for is not everyone is in my address book i send christmas cards to so i could put just their names and that could be helpful so i'm we'll see but it gives you four pages and then um gifts lists so who's been uh, making the list checking it twice gonna find out who's naughty and nice and then bought and then wrapped so that's really a great idea because i can buy gifts way advanced but then have i wrapped them are they under the tree already so this is really awesome so you got two pages of that three four different pages so these are stocking stuffer ideas and then emergency gift inventory so if you don't need these two you could use washi top washi tape and mix if you have more gifts to do so I don't know, lots of ideas with this. Also, um, I love the stocking stuffer because I only stock stuffings for my two kids and my husband. So this would be really helpful. Then you've got Christmas, I love this idea, Christmas decoration inventory. So the decoration type, the storage location, did you put it up and then did you put it away? Because then sometimes it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> this happens to me every January. We put all of the Christmas decorations away, I'm sure I've done it all, and then all of a sudden, We've missed that one angel in the corner or one nutcracker. I mean, it happens every year. All right, so these are favorite Christmas recipes. So just recipes we use at Christmas time. One, two, three, four spots for that. And then meal planning. So we do a special menu just for Christmas Eve, just for Christmas morning, just for Christmas dinner, and as well as like New Year's Eve. Um, now, I wish there's more of these pages. I'm actually thinking about maybe photocopying a couple of these so that I have, because I have four different ones that we really want to have, like special parties, special um, menu for it. But I love this page. And then we've got the grocery shopping list, 
really awesome before Christmas Day arrives, and then a notes page. And then thank you, Card Tracker. I'm always just grabbing a scratch sheet of paper. This is awesome to keep it all in one nice little notebook. And then your Christmas favorites. We do this game as a family and just say, what was your favorite song? What was your favorite book? What was your favorite ornament? What was your favorite thing to eat at Christmas? Favorite present? This is so great. It's already here and you can track it and you put it away and then we can order one from her next year. So I love how thin it is. You can see how thin it is. It can fit in my purse just for this month of December. And then the way I think this can be really used as a planner for this month beyond just Christmas planning is you have all this space for each day. So this could be my planner for this month. So I'm not sure. I might use washi tape to change some of these headings. I'm not sure. We'll see. But if you've ever used her planner before, let me know and let me know your thoughts. And if you're going to order one uh, and let her know I sent you her way because I'm really looking forward to using this one swell planner from um, her shop. So, all right, guys, if you like these kinds of planner videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.